In this video, you're gonna learn how to use an iPad on stage for all of your live worship key sounds. It's really simple to set up and using an iPad is an amazing way to take control of your live worship keys rig. We're gonna talk about how to get everything connected to the iPad. I'll explain the USB hub that you need, how to connect your MIDI controller and your audio interface, and it only takes a few minutes to set up. Let's get started. Okay. So we're using the SL88 Studio from Studio Logic, which is an awesome uh, hammer action keyboard that I really like. And then uh, one of the most important components of the iPad rig is a hub that can deliver power to your connected devices and is also capable of powering your iPad itself. That's called power delivery. A lot of hubs out there on the market don't feature power delivery, or if they do, you have to actually buy a separate power supply, connect it to the hub. But this hub from Anchor, it's typically 30 or $40. It gives you four USB-A ports, connects to your iPad over USB-C, and it powers everything. So this is the hub that we're gonna be setting up. So I'm using my iPad Pro. This is the M1 12.9 inch. Uh, I love this, it's got lots of power, but the biggest benefit is all of that screen real estate. If you've got Sunday keys open, faders, buttons, the mod wheel are nice and big, which I think really helps if you're gonna use the touch screen only on stage. You might notice I just slapped it on top of the SL88 and now it's just sort of sitting there. Uh, this is awesome. The SL88 Studio has a magnetic top and the back of iPad Pros have MagSafe, so they're magnetic as well. So it literally just snaps into place and it's really locked in there as the keyboard shakes or whatever. Um, it looks like it was designed for it. So I really love this. I'm not using a stand. If you don't have the SL88, of course, you're not gonna be able to sync up magnetically like this. So we'll link up some of the iPad stands we recommend. One other thing about this Anchor Hub is that it just has a really short USB-C cable. So I have a simple USB-C extender. Uh, this is just so the hub doesn't have to be right here to plug into the rig. I'm actually going to mount it underneath and then just run this extender up. Uh, keeps things a little bit less tight when I'm wiring it, gives me more flexibility uh, and doesn't introduce any potential issues. So because I've got that USB-C extender, I can actually just hang the hub down here. So it's nice and clean, sort of out of sight. I also really like kind of hiding my points of connectivity away from where they could get bumped or jostled by somebody coming on or off the stage. So in my opinion, this just makes the, the rig that much more reliable because it's really not in a place where anybody could bump up against it and unplug one of my USB connections. So then from there, I've just got this single cable. The extender is gonna run down here and connect. And at the end, I'll, I'll clean up all of the wiring as well. So the SL88 can be powered off of a power supply, but since we're gonna be using a USB, it's just gonna receive power over that USB connection. So we have USB type B going into the SL88, and then that's going right into the anchor hub. So it's just a type B to type A cable that's gonna transport MIDI, and it's providing power to the SL88. And the fact that the keyboard is relying on the hub for power is another reason it's so important to choose a hub that's capable of providing plenty of power to your connected devices. So just standard sustain pedal. We're using the PreSonus AudioBox audio interface. This is one of our favorite budget recommendations for a simple audio interface with high quality audio output. It sends a single stereo pair to the sound system and it's under a hundred bucks. It also has MIDI IO on the back. So if we wanted to, we could actually run MIDI out of the SL88 instead of relying on USB or you could do both if you wanted redundant MIDI connections just in case of a failure point. So we really like this interface. It's built rock solid, doesn't take up a bunch of space on stage, and it looks nice and clean. It also has an output level control, so if you need to, you can dial in the right amount of signal sent to the house. So the only thing that actually plugs into the wall with this setup is that anchor hub, and that provides power to everything else in the rig. It provides power and MIDI connectivity to the keyboard, it powers the audio interface over USB, and then most importantly, it makes sure that the iPad is charging, receiving power 
while we're performing live. Now that everything's plugged in, all that's left is a little bit of cable management. Every cable I bring to church has a cable wrap already on it, so I use those for the basics of just getting cables around the keyboard stand. I always wrap my cables on the legs of the stand on the side that faces me, a little bit further away from the congregation, so they don't see much of that to begin with. I also use a little bit of gaff tape to tuck some specific extra bits of cable away so things look even more discreet. So now that everything is set up, the MIDI controller connects to the Sunday Keys iPad app. Sunday Keys is our all-in-one app for live worship keys players. Sunday Keys generates all of your sounds and then sends them to the soundboard out of the audio interface. You don't need any other apps. You don't need a desktop computer. Everything you need is all-in-one inside of the Sunday Keys iPad app. The Sunday Keys iPad app drastically simplifies your setup, preparation, and most importantly, your live performances. Having a touch screen on stage with you is a really great way to perform. Now, we'll put links in the description to all of the hardware we've talked about so far in this video. So if you're setting up an iPad Keys rig of your own, follow those links and you'll have all the gear you need. Now, one thing we haven't talked about yet, and this is probably the most important thing for a live Keys rig, how it sounds. Check out these demos. 